Okay, so I am going to do another little video here, just kind of as an addendum to my other videos. I've been reading all the comments, all the comments, good and bad, and I just feel like there's a few things maybe I need to clarify, so I just wanted to do that. First of all, I wanted to let you know that I was not trying to teach in my video. I know that the women are not supposed to be teaching. I mean, the Bible says that let the women remain silent in the churches. So when you see these women preachers, I really don't know how they justify that because the Bible's pretty cut and dry. So I just, I'm sorry if I offended anybody. I'm sorry if it came across that way. That's not what I was trying to do. All I was trying to do was just get this information that I've learned out there. So, I'm so, like I said, I'm sorry if I offended anybody. I, that was not my intention. Um, like I said, I was trying to get this out there to everybody. And as far as waking up the white race, I'm not sure about that, <laughs> honestly, because the comments that I have gotten from the white race have been pretty bad. People call me every name in the book, telling me to go kill myself telling me to get AIDS and die. I mean, that's just the most horrible thing that you can say to any human being. So, it's kind of discouraging actually because I cannot be the only white person on the face of this earth that feels this way. I mean, it's there's got to be somebody else out there. It's it's just it's really discouraging and disheartening because I just don't understand how they can be so racist and have such hatred in their heart. I just, I don't get it. So, um, actually I would kind of like to apologize for the comments that the white race are saying to my videos because I didn't intend to bring this kind of stuff out either. I just, when I learned this, something inside of me was pulling at me and was telling me to put this out there. And so I did it because like I said, something was telling me to do it, so I did. And um, like I said, as far as waking up the the white race, I, I don't know. Maybe given time, some white people will stumble on my video and they will be just as ignorant as I was. And it'll help wake them up to see the truth. So that's what I'm hoping. So, um, Second of all, I do want to clarify too that I know that the black people that are here in the United States now are not African. I know that. The term African American is what the white man has pinned on them. Basically, I feel to, to try to keep hiding their true identity. They want them to think they're African so they won't find out who they really are. So I know, and I wanted to clarify that, the I know the black people here are the true Hebrew Israelites. I know that. So let me just get that out there and clarify that. Um, also, something interesting that some people may not know is that actually Africans, they don't like the black race that's over here. They don't like them. They hate them. And the only thing that I can, conclusion that I can come to is that because the Africans know that they're the true Hebrew Israelites. They know they're the chosen people of God, so therefore they hate them. That's, that's the only reason that, the only conclusion that I can come to. So I just wanted to clarify that I do know that they are not African. Just because the white man got them from the continent that we now know as Africa doesn't make them African. I mean, okay, I live in America, but I'm not American. <laughs> I mean, it was not my choice to be here, and I, I don't like it here. Simple. I mean, that's just being honest. So, like I said, just because they were brought from the continent of Africa doesn't make them African. And I wanted to read something. It's from a book called From Babylon to Timbuktu. And if you can get this book, I would encourage it because it's really interesting. There is a page, uh, paragraph, excuse me, here on page 84. It says, in the year 65 B.C., the Roman armies under General Pompey captured Jerusalem. In 70 AD, General Vespasian, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, <laughs> and his son Titus put an end to the Jewish state with great slaughter. During the period of the military governors of Palestine, 
Many outrages and atrocities were committed against the residue of the people. During the period from Pompeii to Julius, it has been estimated that over one million Jews fled into Africa, fleeing from Roman persecution and slavery. The slave markets were full of black Jewish slaves. So that shows you right there exactly how the Hebrew Israelites got into Africa. And it just reiterates my point about them not being African just because that's where they were at. And also one other thing is, it's not coming from the Bible, it's coming from the, the excuse me, Bible dictionary. And under Ham, it says, the youngest son of Noah, born probably about 96 years before the flood, and one of eight persons to live through the flood. Now this is the key point. He became the progenitor of the dark races, not the Negroes, but the Egyptians, Ethiopians, Libyans, and Canaanites. So anybody who wants to try to say that the black race, they, they come from Ham, that's not true. That is not true. He was a progenitor of all the other dark races, just not the Hebrew Israelites. Also, I want to clarify, too, that I know Christ is black. I know it. I, I tried to bring it out in my video. I don't know if I didn't do a good enough job, but I, I do know that. And I, I don't think he's a man with a tan. I, I don't think he's Arab. And I know for sure that he's not a white man with blonde hair and blue eyes. So I also wanted to let everybody know I, I know Christ is black. So just wanted to get that out there. And lastly, some comments about, oh, just another white girl trying to worm her way in. That's not my intention either. I'm not trying to come in at the last minute and say, oh, let me grab onto the coattails of the Israelites and maybe I can get in too. It's not going to work that way. What the Most High has prophesied will come to pass. And he has prophesied that I will be a maidservant in the next life. So the Bible says he's never changing. So no matter what I come in and say or do at the last minute, it's not going to change that. He's prophesied I will be a maidservant. That is what I will be. And honestly, I don't care. That is fine. Whatever the Most High sees fit for me is fine with me. As long as the Israelites get their justice. Because, like I said in my last video, if this had happened to the white man, the white people, <laughs> then uh, they would want justice. You know, it's only fair. White people made them slaves in, the, in this life, so the next life, they should get their justice. And so, like I said, what the Most High has in store for me is fine. It's fine, trust me, as long as the Israelites get their justice. So, I just wanted to bring that out, and I also want to say thank you to a lot of the um, Hebrew Israelites that have given me some really good comments and I just want you to know that that means the world to me it really does I appreciate that so much so I just wanted to put that out there and um, thanks for watching my videos <laughs>